Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be how I transition my wardrobe from summer into fall and the top five pieces that I feel like you need to be able to do that. My name is Erica and I create outfit and styling videos here on YouTube to help you get the best out of your wardrobe. If you like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified of all my recent uploads. And please give this video a thumbs up. You can also find me on Instagram at the style So the top five items that I feel like are super important to include in your fall wardrobe is a great pair of blue jeans. Let's take a look at your blue jeans. All summer long, I have worn jeans that look like this. These are great jeans, they're from Express us. They are ripped and torn and yeah, the bottom is frayed. They're great jeans. I love these jeans, but they're very summery to me. I don't like to really wear these kinds of jeans all the time. They're weak in pieces. In the fall, I like to transition my denim wardrobe into very dark, very jeans. These are the AG super skinny jeans. They have no distressing on them. Non-distressed jeans are something that are very, very important to my wardrobe. I love non-distressed jeans. You will take these from, from a casual work environment to the movies or to dinner dressed up with a pair of heels. You can take them everywhere if they're not distressed because they look dressy. The darker they are, the dressier they look. The second piece would be a great blazer. Blazers are essential pieces in my wardrobe. I have so many different colors, but a great blazer is always, always, always something that you can use to transition into the fall when it's a little chilly. It also just helps you look a little bit more presentable. It looks structured and chic. It dresses you up. It frames your face. It just looks good. A good blazer is one of my favorite pieces to style. So a blazer maybe in a houndstooth pattern, which is very popular for this fall, or you could go totally traditional with a camel one that looks great with a black turtleneck, um, or a navy blue one that you could wear with just jeans and loafers. They all look good. Cracker just came and sat on my foot. Hey, British. Hey, British. Look at my chunky fat boy. Look at my chunky fat boy. Look at my, he's like a blob. Look out, look right there. Say hi. Say hi, Mr. Quacklish. Say hi, Mr. Quacklish. Blazers are always great transitional pieces. You can transition them from summer into fall, wear them all winter long, and also transition them from fall into spring again later. You can add scarves and then maybe later add a coat or something. Um, also a great piece to add to a spirit shirt. If you're going to a school event, you can add a blazer and it just looks so nice. The third item would be cardigans. Cardigans, of course. Yes. Um, this is a great one by Leith. It's a green color, moss green. I thought would be great for fall. Um, it's from Nordstrom. This one is a good camel one from Target. Back. And then this one in a bright, pretty, pumpkin color from halogen at nordstrom which is another great piece and these are all all three of them are very long long kind of duster style cardigans are very very in this year and some black spanx a pair of black spanx would look phenomenal with these throw on top of your camisoles you could do that um, any of these with a pattern camisole for the fall. Stop wearing my sandals so much. Um, my wedge shoes, stop wearing those so much. I tend to grab more mule and loafer styles in the fall. And I like that they feel structured, they feel nice, you'll feel put together. So these are my new mules this year. They're the snake print Chinese laundry mules. Love the light snake print and then the dark snake print booties from Vince Camuto. Snake print is huge this year. Um, it's something you're gonna see like a lot of snake print blouses, dresses, belts, handbags, and footwear. So I'm using snake in my footwear this year um, to kind of bring that trend into my basic pieces, but you could add these to any you know of your basics and instantly you add interest, you add texture, and you add the trend. Um, without going, you know, overboard. It's just really kind of a chic way to do that is just do it with your footwear. So leopard is still strong. I have a lot of leopard um, shoes that I still wear, um, but you could, you know, just bring the snake in through a shoe or even a blouse if you have like a camisole. Um, but you could add, you know, to any of these pieces and it just looks really nice. The other way I like to transition my wardrobe is through my shorts and my leggings. I will let go of my summer cutoffs. It's so sad. I lived in these all summer long. I love them. They're the frayed shorts from Seven for All Mankind. These are phenomenal. I just love them. I love, love, love them. I will look so forward to pulling these out again come summer, but for now I put them away 
and I opt for something more structured, something a little bit kind of dressier, something maybe a little bit more preppy. Um, so shorts like this, the chinos from, these are from Target, they're the Universal Thread, no, they're a New Day from Target, but shorts like this that are a little more structured, a little dressier, that you can wear with a loafer or a mule in the fall, I feel like it just looks crisper, it looks nicer, this dark, gray color, maybe an olive or a dark khaki. And a bonus way to transition your outfits from summer into fall is to do away with your summer handbags. Maybe put them in the back of your closet, pack them up. So things like this that are that um, straw or paper, that one has stain, that are straw or more summer boho. I use this all summer long. So stuff like this that is, you know, just more summery in vibe. Um, I put away for next summer and I pull out my more structured totes, my more structured handbags. Now, something about fall just feels fresh. It feels good and I feel more put together in the fall than I ever do during the summer. The summer I feel like I'm just winging it the whole time. It's like frayed everything and hoping that I make it through the day because my kids are driving me insane. But in the fall, it's like, okay, I feel more me. I feel like I can dress more how I like to dress because I can layer, I can add. There's just more interest, more, I, don't, I love fall and winter weather. Cold, because here in Texas, it's not cold until November, but I feel like I swap out my bright colors, my, you know, summery fabrics, my summery textures, the cutoffs. I swap them out for deeper, darker, cooler tones that make me feel more fall-like. And I think that's important too, is the feeling, the smell of fall, the colors of fall, all gets me into the um, fall spirit. So I can do this in fall. I really can't do that in summer, see? Just fall, fall in general, I feel like you have so many more styling options, so many more things to wear and things to pair and fun. My most fall right here. So that is how I transition my wardrobe into the fall. I like to add fall hats, swap out what I carry, um, and then, you know, cardigans and all those things. So I hope you found that video helpful and it helps you transition into fall, gives you some ideas for some outfits. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.